Hello everyone, you are welcome to this tutorial on how to make mock-ups on a mobile Photoshop that I'll be showing you and it's called Photopea. Alright, um, with this um, tutorial you can make any mock-up. With this tutorial you can make any mock-up but in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a logo mock-up. But if you follow this um, process, you can make a flyer mock-up with it. Not just logo mock-up but a flyer mock-up and other mock-ups, a face cap mock-up, a t-shirt mock-up. Um, any mock-up, a shoe mock-up, any, any mock-up, a billboard mock-up, and so on, and so um, more. Alright, so um, so far you have your PSD mock-up template. Alright, you'll be able to make all this. Alright, following the process I'll be showing you in this video tutorial. But before we start, we want to learn how to extract PSD file for mock-up use. But we need to learn how to extract PSD file for mock-up use. When you download any mockup, um, for instance, when you download any mockup, for instance, maybe you will from your Google Drive, from a mockup site, probably freebit.com, and all those websites where you can get or download mockup. Once you download your mockup, you would have it on your device as a zip file, okay? and you can do nothing with a zip file. You can do nothing with a zip file. That's why you have to unzip it and that's the main that's the um process of extracting it from zip and then you unzip it for use so i'll show us firstly on how to unzip a psd file and how to now use it for our mock-up project from your google drive all right this is a 3d let me search for my 3d mock-up i'll be sharing you sharing this with you you can check the description for the link Okay, let's say this is the mock-up that I will be downloading. I right, need to extract it from PSD file. You need to extract it for use. When you download it, it will come to your device as zip files. When you download this right now, you come to your device as a zip files. And with zip file, you cannot use it like I said before. You've got to what unzip it. So that's why once you download it, it will take you to your Zakiva app. Alright, your Zakiva app. With your Zakiva app, Zakiva app, and your download option. Let's say it take it took me it took me to my download. Alright, so this is the, this is it here. Once you get to download, and you want to let's say you want to you want to call and extract it. Once you just click on it, let's say this is it. This is it. You just copy it. Once you copy it. You don't go to normally when you whenever whenever you want to extract a font, you go to fonts and you extract it into fonts. But right here, you don't extract it to fonts. Once you copy the copy it from your download, all right, you extract it to your download. I have it already though, but now I have to. I have three now, so I have copy one, copy two. So once you once you copy it, there it takes you to. It, it could take you here. You copy it. You copy it with this. All right. Or it could it could take you here and you just copy the 17, the biggest and um, the main mockup, which is this dot PSD. Once you copy it, you click once you uh, long press on it, you copy it here. I don't know if you get it. Once you've done that, once you copy it, you go on and do the extraction to your download option that will be here. Alright, so once your PSD file is extracted, you can then move on to your Chrome browser and click on www. Um, photopeer.com all right so make sure it's load all right. so once you are done once it's finished once it's load so you would have this um this look your photopeer um um, browser yes, or site as this look once you got once you get here you click on your file all right um, this file I'll show you. This is where you're gonna click on this. So once you click on it, you click on open. The second option, open. All right. Second option, open. Then you click on files. You open from open your the extracted PSD file. Click on um, this download. So you extract the mockup from your download. Once you click on, you choose the mockup 3D glass window window mockup. 
then you click on the mock up 18.47 MB. The one that has a bigger size has the mock up, the other one are just images. So, wait for it to load. Loading how long it will load is depending on how um, your internet is. All right, so it has finished loading. This is what you're going to have after it loads. Um, it finished loading. So, the next thing you're going to do is to click on this layer option here by your right here. This layer option by your right, yes, by your right. This layer option. Once you click on it, you can see this boss. There's a there's a there's a square boss. There's a square boss here. What you're gonna do is to double click on it. One two like this. One two. So once you double click on it, you're gonna have this. Once you have this, you click on this eye option on this eye icon here. You click on it. Click on the eye icon then once you once that is done you, you click on a layer again to remove it you, have, you can see that you have two um layers here you have two layers here you have the three 3d glass psd file and you have the logo mock-up you want to logo um background all right the logo background all right so you click on file then you now open and place the logo you've designed you open and place no longer open now it's open and place i hope you saw what i clicked on open and place all right i think i want to take it for my pc lab all right so you wait for it to load all right so this is the logo design i'm working with you can decide to increase it like i'm doing you can decide to reduce it you can decide to resize it any how you want it to be Alright, so once that is done, you click on file again. This was the open and place I clicked on before. It's open and place here. So now you click on file again and you click on save as smart object. So you're gonna save save it as your smart object. Alright, so it has finished saving as smart object. So the next thing you're gonna do is to click on the 3D glass logo mockup on top here so that you can see how it will be on it. Click on 3D logo glass mockup. Click on the 3D glass mockup. This is going what's gonna come out, come up. Alright, so um you then click on file again and then you then export as you can choose to export as PNG or JPEG while we're exporting as PNG. Alright. Then when you have this, you then save it. Save it. So this is a simple process, download. This is the process of making a logo mockup. It's very easy and simple. If you follow this video tutorial from the beginning, you should be able to do your logo mockup very easily. Thanks for watching and goodbye.